Hey guys, we're back with more of the Falchion run. We are gonna go ahead and do Radon right now. We got Radon, War Dead Catacombs, and then we're gonna go back to Lyernia. We've been there for a bit, so we're gonna go back there for a longer bit. Actually, not really. Maybe like six bosses, and then we're gonna be in Altus for probably a while. Ready as I'll ever be. This shouldn't be too bad. Unfortunately, I don't think you can parry Radon. I would uh, be shocked if you could. <laughs> His sword is like five times my size. But it would look cool, probably, if you could. Hmm. I didn't realize you couldn't even attack on this elevator. I just tried to. And then I noticed the, uh, the no attack icon. The Wailing Dunes. What about them is wailing? How does sand wail? Can't catch me, Radon. Okay, he caught me. Don't know uh, why I tried to do that. Damn it. No, let me two hand, two hand, two hand. Thank you. Big damage. That was like surprisingly good damage. Not enough to one cycle him, but I mean, still. Does he look like he got singed by the sun or something, or is it just me? Like, when he comes back down, he always looks darker. But maybe it's just me. Cutscene? There we go. Took a while. I feel like for what Radon is, he should be, like, way stronger. For a guy who literally controls the stars, he should, like, be way more intimidating. But that's just kind of how New Game Plus is, you know? I think this area should have been more Dragon Barrel difficulty-esque, like Radon plus the War Dead. Well, War Dead already is, but Radon, I don't think, is quite on that level. War Dead's, for some reason, scaled higher than the Dragon Barrow. At least it used to be. I don't know if it ever got patched. I actually don't know. Could it, for all I know. So what have I been leveling? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Let's see. Strength Index, probably. I think Vigor's at... Oh, it's almost at 60. Right, I remember we wanted to get this to 60 for Tree Sentinel Duo, which we'll probably get to within the hour, I imagine. Ooh, almost just died. I think there's a floor there. I can't tell. Don't really want to find out either. Man, from one spot you can get shot by two of these guys. That seems like a bad deal. Damn, I just wanted to backstab. Oh, it's Lion's Claw. Makes sense, I guess. Red Main Soldier. But I didn't know that. There's only one run where I'm going to be using Lion's Claw, unfortunately. That would be... Backstab? The Claymore. It's the only weapon that has it by default. There's literally no reason to backstab this guy. I just wanted to. Claymore run actually was requested. There's been a lot of requests lately. I lowered the threshold there, like the request redeem amount. So basically you couldn't get more for like the same amount of time in the stream on Twitch. Which doesn't really mean anything. I guess it just means there's more requests, but like doesn't really change much. 
I'm still doing a bunch of runs. Although it does mean Bloodboard runs are way more expensive. So those will probably be less frequent than they've been, but I guess there's no guarantee of that. Run. I would love to hit this thing as it's coming down, but I don't know. Not kind of, not like that, but like as like its face gets towards you, I think it would look cool. All right, we're going back to Lyernia, South Gate. Nighttime? I think it's already nighttime. Beautiful. Oof, God. Thought I jumped too late. So we got the Death Raid Bird and then the Royal Revenant. I think the Royal Revenant for that fight, I'm gonna fight Torrent. Or fight on Torrent. I'm not gonna fight Torrent. Oops. A little too late on that. Just gonna pray. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, luckily it's not the snowfield one. The Snowfield one is so much worse, because that would straight up kill me. So yeah, if you two-hand a weapon, hang on. If you try and two-hand anything on a horse, it just will default to your other weapon. Does that mean I'm two-handing my shield now? That's exactly what it means. So that's how two-handed works then. Okay. Yeah, two-handing on a horse is weird. If you try and two-hand the weapon in your right hand, you just end up two-handing the weapon in your left hand for some reason. So this is me trying to two-hand the falchion. Oh, I'm holding the shield now. Then I go back. Falchion. Shield. There's no way to two-hand your, uh, your falchion. Unless you, like, go onto the horse already two-handing. That's the only way. So for this, we use Torrent. Because it is incredibly easy to get behind this thing if you do. The poison is not helping. I don't even know where this thing's face is. Yeah, that's how I'm going to do that fight from now on, forever and ever. Hop on Torrent. All right, so 60 Vigor, then what? I guess Strength and Dex. We could do more Endurance, too. I'll level up here. And more Flasks, more Golden Seeds. I don't remember what I have. Sacred Tear? Nope. Golden Seed. Stop, stop. Nope, stop. Cease. Okay, so I have 12 flasks. I don't think I'm going to be able to get 10 more seeds. I would need 10 for for max flasks. Probably not happening, but that's okay. There is one gold seed here. I can probably get at least one more. Hmm, maybe I could do two. So you get the four between the uh, outer wall tree and then going up towards Bellberry Hunter in Altus. Plus the one here would be five. So really, I just need like another five beyond that. Hmm, I can think of a few. I don't know. There's a... No, we can probably get max. Now that I think about it. I'm sure we will. Either way, like 13 or 14 flasks, it doesn't really matter. It's plenty of healing. So the Red of the Onyx Lord, we have to start Ronnie's quest, and then we have three more bosses before we're in Altus. But we're, you know, just under halfway. Just under halfway through with all the bosses. 77 right now, I think. That's how many we've killed. A lot to go, though. 
gotta say, if we only get like 10 bosses in the DLC, I'm like partially grateful for that. Like 10, I think is a lot. It depends on whether or not they're unique fights or not too, I think. Like if it's copy pasted, like I don't know if the 10 bosses Miyazaki threw out there is like 10 original bosses or some of those are like, you know, copy pasted, like who knows, right? Questions we can't answer now. Well, you can barely read it, right? I don't know if you can parry that. True combo. Stop doing this attack. Yeah, I hate parrying these bosses though, because it doesn't matter. It's just kind of cool that you can do it, but it really doesn't help, in my opinion. Because as soon as you hit them, they just, they get knocked away from you. Like, what good is that? I can't just keep attacking. Oop. I don't know if you can parry that one. That one seems kind of tough to parry. Hmm, probably don't need to rest here. Definitely need the grace, though. So the Onyx Lord, we can parry. I know that, because I tried in a uh, new game. Found it, like, kind of annoying, though, to be honest. It wasn't like, uh, I don't know, some bosses just feel better to parry. I think I mentioned it before, but, you know, like the Crucible Knight feels pretty good. What was the other one? There's another one that, like, felt really good. Like, there's no super delays or anything in the attacks. Or maybe I just know Crucible Knights well enough that, uh, parrying is easy enough. But the Onyx Lord, I don't know, is a little trickier for me to parry. Where the heck is the ever jail? Where am I going? Yeah, like you can't parry that. It's when they have like abilities that you just, I don't know, can't really parry that are quick. And then insanely delayed attacks. That was like the only one I was able to parry, I remember last time when I fought this guy. Alright, fine. You want to do it again? Be my guest. Okay. So one more to parry in the seal tunnel. I'll try again on that fight. Kind of surprised he did that attack like three times. All right, now we just got to deal with Ronnie's nonsense. I do hope in the DLC we don't have to deal with like this or Fia's nonsense <laughs> where you just talk. I'm sure there will be NPCs that you have to talk to for quests and whatnot, but I don't know. I hope there's no bosses tied behind them. There probably will be, though. And there's nothing wrong with it in a casual playthrough, like, that's fine. It's just having to do this part every run, it's pretty tedious. Same with, like, Fia's, uh, like, when we do Fortis Axe. Like, having to go get the Curse Mark of Death every time. Just like, ugh. Shoot me. Though I have no, no reason. Where are we going after this? We are going to... The main gates, we gotta go to the Crystallion. Crystallion, Knight's Cavalry, and then the, um... Magborm. Magma Worm Makar. And we're out. Main gate, main gate, way down here. Whoa, go in the thing. Jeez. Am I going through it? So we need this. Late night. Damn. Late night means the Knight's Cavalry will probably be gone by the time we come back here. 
That's okay, though. Leap of faith. Just kidding, I knew there's a spirit spring there. I have died trying to make that drop, though. I think if you land too high up the cliff, you probably just aren't close enough to the spirit spring box, and then you just die. Although, I don't know if it's still like that, because they patched them at some point. So maybe that's not a thing anymore. I do not know. All right, so we're not parrying this guy. I don't even know if you can parry the ring blade one. I mean, I'll try, but I don't think it, it's going to work. So this is what the third crystalline boss, I think. And then we just got to do the duo and Altus. That won't be for a bit, though. I don't think we're, we're going to get there in the next hour. What's the time looking? 6.49. So a little over six hours. Makes sense. This is part seven, I think. Should be. Hopefully is. I do not think we're going to finish under 12 hours, though. Brother, get me out of here. Oops. Maybe we'll get a ring blade weapon. Can't parry out that. Okay, I think that timing was good. Yeah, it's not happening. All right. Spinning Slash. He's doing his version of Spinning Slash to me. Now we just do this. Well, not bad. I was going to just stagger our ones. What a fight. Mm, nope, it's morning. So close. This, I think, is a... No, this is a Halberd uh, Knight's Cavalry for sure, because this is where you get the Knight Rider Glaive. So we can parry this guy. Good fight. <laughs> well, it's not over, but I mean, it's pretty much over. Is he trying to summon? Well, now it's over. Wow, it didn't do as much. Oh, I guess because he wasn't on the ground. Oh, of course I've missed. Stop backing up, dude. The Altus one, I think, is a flail. And then I think the Halberd one, the next Halberd one's probably the Mountaintops because that's all that's left is the mountaintops and then the snow field. Oh no, there's the Lierni one, the other Lierni one I didn't do. That'll, we'll do later. So that's a flail one. There's an even amount of both. Five flail, five halberd. Whenever I hear the whooshing of this, I think it's like a plastic sword. Maybe it's just the sharpest plastic sword in existence. Oh yeah, I forgot about this golden seed. Honestly, there's still a bunch to get. I think we'll easily have max flasks. Not gonna get all the sacred tears though. Probably get like plus 10, maybe? Probably not. I don't know, not until the end anyway. Actually, maybe nine. Actually, you know what? Probably not even, probably not even that. Eight. I don't think I'm gonna get any in Altus. I don't think I'm gonna get the mountain tops ones. So I think just plus eight, but that'll be fine. Like all the Altus ones are kind of out of the way for where I go. The mountain tops ones, they're not like super far out of the way, but they're out of the way enough where I'm not going to want them because it's like I, I'm not going to get them. I wouldn't go where they are until millennia, until after millennia. And if I get through millennia with a plus eight, why do I need more? You know, maybe for DLC. OK, that's actually a something I just thought about. Maybe I'm going to want them for DLC. I don't know. It's not something I need to worry about now, though. Can't believe we still have almost four months left till DLC. It's nice that we at least got a date. Oh, unless there's a delay. Oh, no. I mean, Elden Ring did get delayed a month. I feel like you almost never see delays with DLC, though. So Magma Worm Makar, and then we got the Perfumer and Misbegotten Warrior duo. Then the Knight's Cavalry. Knight's Cav number seven? Six? Six. Because then we have the Urania and then everything past Lane Dell, which those, there's three there, so four total. 
I have killed... God, how many Knights Cavalry at this point? 50 runs? Over 50 runs? So I've killed over 500 Knights Cavalry before. Jesus Christ. That's far too many. 308 times... Oh my god, I'm gonna have killed like 3,000 by the time this is over. That's gross. I should literally never die to that boss again. Although this is the first run I've tried to parry them. It's crazy to think about, right? Like, I fought Magma Worms four times every run, so I probably fought like 200 of these things. I have no idea how many Crucible Knights I've fought. It's a lot, though. How many Godricks and Godefroyas? Almost 100. Oh, why are you crawling, dude? You just... Come on. I thought we reached a once-per-fight limit agreement. We didn't really. That's just wishful thinking on my part. So there, he is definitely bigger than uh, the one in Kaelin. But probably the same size as the one in Gelmir. And they're both smaller than Theodorix. I think he's bigger than the one in Kaelin. Magma Worm Scale Sword. I don't know if that's a weapon I power stance or not, honestly. Because you can't really do a Magma Worm cosplay. At least, well, you could if you had a seal and did, like, Theodorex's Magma or the other one, whatever it is. Plus the Scale Sword. But, you know, I'm probably not going to do that. So how are we in Stone Sword Keys? Seven. I need one more, I think. Because I have this dungeon, I got Seath Water Cave... That should be it for Altus, and then it's just the mountaintop's dungeon and the uh, snowfield cave. Actually, they're both caves. Spirit Collar Cave and Cave of the Forlorn. Now, try to parry the Misbegotten Warrior, but the uh, perfumer is going to be a problem, probably. Damn Perfumer. No. 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 This is bad. No. Oh. Damn it. I gotta do Spinning Slash here. That is the key. The, the Misbegotten Warrior, honestly, is pretty rough if you uh, don't have something that can stagger him. Where are we going? This way? Even more rough when he is buffed by a perfumer. At least, def you know, defensively buffed. Coming for you guys. Also gets hyper armor on that attack, so that's cool. Get over here, stupid lion. Ah, oh, come on! I can't even get over here. And you, come here. Oh, I got buffs, of course. Nice repose. Thanks, game. I just want to keep them separated, honestly. Over here, come on. Not sure how that first hit keeps missing at the first parry, rather. Thank you. Does Trisha have a uh, a weapon? You have a weapon? What is in your hand? Perfume bottle? Now you're dead. 
And then Knight's Cav? I think. I had to think about it for a second, though. Couldn't remember if there was something in between. There is technically, but I'm not doing Sage's Cave till later. What do we have here? Sacred Tear. Oh, plus nine. From the uh, Bellum Church. Forgot about that. So I guess we're not going past plus nine, then. So Flail Knight's Cavalry. No parrying here, unfortunately. Even before you actually can parry this guy, and no one knew. I will be the first to do it. Stop hearing that. <laughs> I know you can't, but like, imagine if you could. No, I'm not gonna bother. We just fight. So what's next? Falling Star Beast, Omen Killer, and Miranda. Damn. Dead. Tree Sentinel Duo, I like, I don't really want to parry them, man. That's gonna suck. It's so annoying to parry in duo fights, especially that fight. Parrying the Omen Killer shouldn't be too bad, though. What would you even do for a parry only playthrough? Because, like, I don't think you can parry all the, all the demigods. I don't know how that would work. I guess if you did carry and retaliation. You could parry, like, certain spells or something, I don't know. Uh oh This is going well so far. You, maybe you want to take out the guy that's standing right behind you? Instead of me? He's just standing there menacingly, trying to wait for a moment to strike me. Get him. Get him. Nice. All part of the plan. It is pretty laggy right now, I'm not gonna lie. I am not here for it. Really, no stagger yet, huh? Finally. It'd be cool if you could parry those guys. I don't know how you would do it, but it would be cool. Parry like their horn or something, and they just get knocked back and fall over. So like I said, the Omen Killer we can parry, Miranda will just two-hand four. Should be pretty straightforward. And then the Tree Sentinel, Onyx Lord, and then we're going to Gilmir for a bit. Where am I going? I'm over here. I'd say it's about 50% of his health. And there's the rest. This thing has 7,700 health. That is one tanky flower. To be fair, it's New Game Plus. Probably doesn't have that much New Game. I would be shocked. Can I level up? Oh, barely, but yes. No pun intended. There's a bear right there. I wish you could parry out a shield. I can bash with the shield. 
You actually can block there, which is pretty cool. Oh, wait, no, that's a charge attack. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see. Strength. Dex is better. No surprise. Dex is probably better up to 60, and then after that, who knows? All right. Oh, I should have changed the uh, talisman. I am not pairing this boss. Maybe, like, in phase two when I fight one of them, but I'm not... If they're inclined too, I don't think it's gonna make it easy. It's gonna make it awful, quite honestly. Uh oh. Up we go. Man, it's like when you go for one, the other one just is already attacking. And you just can't ever go for any of them. Alphagen. I'll be back to full. I want to take out the guy with the torch first, ideally. Because the other guy's face too is much, much nastier. Cannot reach. Uh oh. Yeah, saw that coming. Man, it's always so frustrating when they do that jump attack like while you're healing. Because you know you're getting hit. I can't, I didn't think that would actually reach. Oh, here's a wall. Getting out. Damn it, I thought I had time to get an attack in there. Yep, yep, yep. I kind of figured that was going to happen. As soon as I hit the button, they both start jumping. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, sorry, Torrent. Just jump in the air. Start phase two. Not good. They just don't separate, ever. Yeah, this is not going to end well for me. Health regen's gone, too. Now, yeah, ooh. I missed so many attacks. Put this door here. I can't see anything. No, damn it. I'm dead. Yeah. I was stuck prone on the ground while he was doing the attack. It's about to start. Thought for a minute there I had it. I don't feel like swapping my physic. I'm just going to go with this one. Really just need to focus the guy with the torch, though. Not the other one. Oh, the range. I didn't think he'd actually reach. I don't know why you're blocking, buddy. Brother, can I have a chance to, like, get my feet set before I get hit? 
Uh oh. Help torrent. Do not know what the other one's doing. Oh, there it is. There we go. Oops. See, they just bounce away from you. It's so annoying. That's why I don't like peering these guys. Are you up hearing that? We're also at a very weird angle. Really? Ugh, what a fight. Nope, don't rest. You don't need to rest here. It's no point. We're going this way. And I had just warped back here. Onyx Lord. Yeah, honestly, I feel like the only good thing about pairing the Tree Sentinels is the fact that you can, like, knock them off the map. Mainly the Draconic Tree Sentinel one. Because I don't see how pairing helps at all. It just kind of knocks them off balance. Maybe it'd be better if, like, this weapon wasn't a thing. Not... The I didn't say that right at all. Not with this weapon. I feel like it would be better if I had a different weapon. Because the the charged R2 of this weapon is not good for hitting them when they get staggered. Because the first hit of the combo knocks them too far away for you, from you to actually be able to do anything with the, the stagger. Unless they're against a wall. So the Onyx Lord, I'm going to try and parry. Kindred to Rot, I could try and parry. That might be a little tougher, though, because there's two of them. Can you parry Red Wolf? That'll be up at, or actually, yeah, we're not going to get, yeah, talk, I've been, I've been talking too much today. <laughs> been talking for like six straight hours. My brain is ready to shut off. Also, I need the uh, stone sword key here. Oh, great. Climb. Let's try this again. But yeah, we'll probably get through this dungeon and maybe get to Seath Water Cave, and then I'll probably pick up with Gelmir next time, I'm thinking. And then we should be able to finish Altus, hopefully, in another hour, get underground. And then from there, we probably have like four hours or so, four or five hours. So seven, eight, 13 parts, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Pretty normal. I don't know if you can parry them, man. I, I just, I think maybe my timing's bad on every, every one of them. But I, I don't know. The only attack I've been able to parry is the charging one. Every other attack I just fail. I don't know why you couldn't parry them. I just think my timing's bad. No, nope, still bad. I just, I don't know, man. Like, I'm trying to go too early. I'm trying to go on time, but I'm late. Can I get it? Brother, come on. He just has, like, the, like, the weirdest slow attack ever. 
I wonder if you can parry that part. This is the only one I've been able to parry on this guy. Wyndham Catacombs. I forgot there are two more golden seeds in Gelmir. Oh my god, lag. Wait. Oh, I only have uh, 12. I thought I had 13 flasks. Okay, that's fine. So we get two seeds here. We still have another two on the way to that bellbearing hunter from the outer wall. So that's one, two, three, four, and then I need two more. That'll be easy. There's going to be one in the Forbidden Lands that's pretty free, and then one off of uh, the Ulcerated Tree Spirit in the Mountaintops, so we're good. Two more Stone Sword Keys gone, but we should be good on all of them. I forgot that I had used an extra one for the Green Turtle Talisman. Might be able to level here, too. I think. Actually, no, I don't think we can. I think we're just shy. We got another Flask. Yeah, 5k more. All right, well, I'm going to call this one here. Next time we will continue through Gelmir. We'll get Seathwater Cave done and we'll finish up Altus, at least for the moment. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.